Hello, welcome back to the studio. As you may or may not know, I snuck out and got a new guitar. Well, it's not really new. It's a 1983 Fender Strat. We have a special guest on the show, Mr. Pat Ramondo, and he's going to try out the Fender and tell us all about it. And that's all coming up next on Roy Studio Adventures. So you're saying, Roy, where and how did you find this guitar? Well, I searched all the usual places, you know, Kijiji, the internet. And then on Facebook, I saw an ad for AJ's Music. And the ad read, Fender Stratocaster American Standard Vintage. I went over to AJ's on Queen Street to check it out. The people there were very nice. And I walked around the store checking out all the stuff they have. And they, they have, like, everything in there. So finally, I tried the guitar out, I fell in love, and I took it home. Next, we're going to have Pat Ramondo tell you all about the guitar. What's going on, YouTube, World Wide Web? This is Pat Ramondo here. I'm going to talk about this 40-year-old uh, Stratocaster. We've got a, a USA 1983 Fender Stratocaster. Super hard maple neck. Um, three singles. It's got the introduction of the two-point trem system and also this is when I don't know this year specific but this is when you're gonna start seeing 22 frets on a Stratocaster before that there there were only 21 frets on a Strat so right now we've got a uh, the blue crunch channel on the Mesa here <laughs> Hit the subscribe and smash the bell so you can be notified of upcoming videos. Strat neck, I would say this is a, a 9 out of 10 condition neck with, uh, we'll give the body a 7, it's got a lot of play wear, little buckle, you can feel the buckle wear a bit, but that adds character, that's very desirable now. We've got one little dent here, but uh absolutely great shape for a 40 year old strat if you've got a bigger hand you're going to definitely love this neck if you're familiar with a player series strat they are tiny here compared to the strat so a guy with bigger hands can play a d minor the fourth position it's got that perfect stratocaster sweet sound say this was 
the first standard Stratocaster that was offered by Fender after the Dan Smith era of Stratocasters, which had some strange features like an input jack here instead of here. Uh, they had a small headstock with a 70s style cascading Fender logo. Um, in 83, they started going back to the just a standard silver design, which this carried on into the 90s until I think the late 90s when the, uh, the 50s spaghetti logo started to come back as reissues or as uh, uh, I forget what anniversary was but it was an anniversary design at, I want to say 97 ish came out where you started to see the spaghetti logo again but for uh, quite a while this is the logo you saw on every Stratocaster it became uh, quite the standard this pretty much exact model was the standard for quite some time this is not a sponsored video